Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monday Night Raw in Albany, New York. It is good to be in the the great Big Apple with the man himself, Trick Williams. And oh my goodness, it feels just that much intense as to what happened last week and what transpired. It's just been crazy. As it's been finalized and confirmed, Trick and Punk live at No Way Out. Live in front of thousands and thousands in, the, in Buffalo, New York. It is going to be a massive, massive festive event live for all y'all faces to see. But now, here in the present, we gotta wait for these two guys to go at it. Trick Williams is out here trying to speak his mind. He wanted to uh, personally talk to the fans after what transpired last week in this match against Brandon Collins. You would have to wonder what is on his mind. Because right now he has to be uh, a little bit more a little bit more confident after what happened last week in this match in a big win. Woo wee! I'm finally here. Off of a whole four hour flight from Orlando to here. And now I'm, I feel the energy. I feel the vibe that y'all are giving me. From here in Albany, New York, I, I feel it. We not even at Buffalo yet, and no, I feel it. I know SmackDown's gonna be at uh Madison Square Garden. So uh y'all have that to look forward to. But tonight, I'm gonna need to hear uh certain persons little opinions about me. Cause I know that he wasn't here last week. I know he wasn't here when I beat the Spartan Brandon Collins to a three second count. Like he says that like he's going to do this Sunday to me in front of all of y'all in Buffalo. But I'm going to need to see that for myself. And I personally feel like I shouldn't even be talking at this point in time. Because I feel like Albany deserves a word from the straight edge savior. So without any further ado, I ain't introducing you. You might need to introduce yourself. Get out here. Yo, man. You heard the... Whoa! I can't even hear the man's music. The man is absolutely just loved here in New York, I guess. CM Punk has entered Albany, New York, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my God, the reception is just through the roof. CM Punk is here, ladies and gentlemen. I guess last week he wasn't in the arena. He wasn't in attendance. But now he is. He's in live and living color. Because this Sunday, he knows that he's up against a challenge against a young competitor, a young and hungry competitor in Trick Williams. And he knows that for a fact that's, that sometimes he can't really keep up with the, the youngins. He can't really keep up with the guys that are on a whole new league and on a whole new level than him. But at the same time, this is CM Punk we're talking about. A bunch of various world title reigns. Two time money in the bank winner. The man's accolades can go on forever. And nobody can ever complain. But right now, all we can do is listen. Well, thanks for the introduction. Wow. When to think that things can even get him even more flattering. Coming from a Chicago native and a Blackhawks fan and a bunch of New York Rangers and Islanders fans in this very arena. Well, anyways, right? <laughs> I don't want to get too controversial as I'm already probably one of the most controversial figures in professional wrestling in itself. I am going up against a youngster and an up-and-comer and you this Sunday all live in front of thousands of people to see me enjoy beating you in front of everybody. But I'm not going to say that it's a prediction nor a spoiler. I just want to see where you were at in terms of your level of competition and how much you can bring to the table. Because that's what CM Punk is all about, baby. 
that's what I was built off of. I was built off of people that pushed me to the, to my limit, and I push you to your limits. That's what I'm about, and that's what I love to do in this very sport. I love to piss you off. I love to make you angry. I love to make everybody in this arena bang. I love to have that enjoyment. I love this. I love this feeling that I'm getting here. I'm not always the nicest guy. I'm not always the meanest guy. But hey, I'm not going to give you a, a official review or a, a broadcasted interview with Trick Williams live here on air. I'm going to give it to you straight up. You are an amazing competitor. Even though sometimes your moves can be a little bit more repetitive from what I saw, you seem more like a book to me. What I mean by that, I can read you like a book. Your moves are quite frankly predictable. Hell, I can even go through the amount of moves that you did in that entire squabble with Brandon Collins last week. And to think that you had it all you knew all just talk all you can do is run your mouth and you can barely back it up in the ring it seems like you might have gotten that win you might have gotten that amazing performance quote unquote amazing but in my eyes you're just a stepping stone that's being hyped by all these people and you are riding the highest tide in the world heavyweight champion. That's what I think of you. And that's what I think of your performance last week. You done? You done now? Because that was a long, long speech and a long, long talking session with CM Punk. Everybody. I would say give it a round of applause because I don't even give a damn about it anymore. It's just, it's just boring hearing you speak. Just boring. Everything about you is boring, punk. Like I said in our last time that we had this, this face-off, you are boring. You are old news. Everything about you is fake. You are CM Cancer now. You are hated by majority of the locker room because of your past actions and how you affected the company over a decade ago. So I don't care if you think my moves are repetitive. I don't care if you think that I am just a one-hit wonder. I don't even give a damn that you think you're going to beat me in a huge big fight field match like this Sunday. Even if it's the opener. Even if it's the main event. I am main event level talent. I don't care how you think of me. I don't care what you say about me. I am going to prove to you that I am not writing Melo's tie. I ain't writing anything that Melo's given me. Melo is his own man, just like me. And I am going to whoop that punk. You see, here's the thing about you, Trick. Your ignorance. You leech off of trends. You are, hell, you are a trend. You are a trend that lasts for only 24 hours. And you have carried that into your work as a professional wrestler. And I don't even respect it one bit. You see, the thing and the difference between me and you, you might call me old news. But guess what? Guess who observes me all the time? Wrestling observers that you see on YouTube, TikTok, your Twitters, whatever. I am synonymously known by everybody. I am a man that is just synonymous with the entire world of this entire industry from ring of honor to maybe japan maybe aew everybody knows c m punk maybe i'm i'm mr nice guy to most people maybe i'm just a cancer maybe i'm just fake like you said but that's how i am i am just that much of a truth speaker i I am a man that brings the honest truth to anything that's given to me. And for you, 
like I said, you are in a just dire position that's been put upon you by your own homie. If it was me, I would have just took him off my radar. I would have took him out a long time ago because he is just a waste of space and he's just only holding you back from who you really are. I told you last week that you have the entire world in the palm of your hands, that you have all the potential in the world to take the wrestling world by storm and look at you now. You are leading me into my own proving points that I told you and the last time that we faced off. I'm going to tell you and I'm going to prove to you this Sunday that you are just a hype man. You are just meant to be Mello's little pet. You are a school pet. You are the teacher's pet. You are a man that relies on another man for your own satisfaction. And that is depressing in itself. Man, oh man, how much of a world of hurt you're going to be in and you don't even realize it yet. It depresses me to even tell you it because I'm, I, don't, I don't like to be the dweller of bad news, but sometimes I just have to give it to you. I'm here for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to change the culture and start a revolution. And hey, if it starts with you and no way out, then damn it, so be it. Because I am going to make a proving grounds out of you that I ain't playing around anymore. I ain't messing around anymore. I am coming for blood and you are my first victim.